they get off the bus. Um, typically kids are very, very excited to be here. Um, you know, for a lot of the schools that come here, this is a brand new experience. Um, we get a lot of city kids from Milwaukee and Chicago, for example, and this is the first time that they've ever experienced the North Woods. We're at a Trees for Tomorrow and we're doing a hike right now and we're looking for we're looking for signs of animals that have been here. And I'm seeing a whole bunch of animals like deer and all that. We have a small staff at Trees for Tomorrow, but every single one of us that works here um, works here because we love what we do and we um, you know, we, we just feel like what we do uh, is making a difference and we just get excited to show them the outside and, and you know, say, look at how cool this is. <laughs> we tailor our programming depending on the seasons. If it's snowing outside, raining, hot and sunny, so we do activities outside that are tailored to the particular uh, season so that they're learning about what happens year round. It's a very powerful um, experience that the kids have here. And so our vision is to prepare today's youth to be tomorrow's stewards of our natural world. What they do here in a three or four day period has a lifelong effect on them. Our facilities are top-notch facilities. It's not quite as roughing it as some people might think, and so even though we have historical buildings here, uh, we get great reviews from all of our participants that, that stay on site, and so it's really great. We're right on the Eagle River chain of lakes. Almost half our property is forested. We, we got a lot of natural activity that happens here, um, just interactions with nature, and we are hands-on, active, experiential education, inquiry-based education, you know, that students are busy actively learning. And we have schools that have been coming to Trees for Tomorrow for 20, 30 years. It's just part of their, not only their science curriculum, um, but it's part of their culture. It's just a tradition for them to come to Trees for Tomorrow. Every year though, we get new schools that come to Trees for Tomorrow, which is also really exciting. And that's another part of, of uh, what I do is, is reach out and have meetings with districts and teachers and administrators. We even travel around the state to visit in person with any uh, schools, teachers, administrators, um, or you know any corporations that want to learn more about Trees for Tomorrow. So our sponsors are really important to us. They're very vital to the um, success and, and the growth of the program. For example, we put on a natural resources careers workshop for high schoolers every year. That opportunity wouldn't be available to kids in high school if we didn't have those sponsors. And um, corporations choose to sponsor us, I think, because they just are such, um, they're supportive and they believe in that sustainable use and management of our natural resources. And they just support that, you know, 100% and they want to see that continue. Trees for Tomorrow was founded on the spirit of donation and volunteerism and philanthropy from corporations. But then there's, it's more than just that. It's knowing that what they're doing is helping maintain the, the environment in the North Woods for hopefully another 70 plus years. I, I believe what uh, Trees for Tomorrow offers uh, schools is uh, something that traditional schools cannot provide, which is in outdoor, uh, hands-on, science-based curriculum. And I think that baseline will help them make informed decisions as they become our future business leaders. A corporate member would find value in being associated with an accredited natural resource school that's become a national leader in outdoor education. A new member would be able to assist in promoting that into the future so that we continue that self-sustaining of our natural resources. I think the key that uh, really excites me is when, when we support a school and they send us thank you letters. And in those thank you letters, um, you can see that passion developing. The experience here is that launching pad. And we've heard from several alumni that without their experience at Trees, they may not have entered that career field.